Hello, I am Linda Talking Head. And I am Canada Post Senior Vice President, Edward Ladder Climber. Today we are here with a special edition of the interview to discuss the tentative agreement that CUPW members will be voting on in the coming weeks. The very generous agreement. In your opinion, Eddie Boy. We are joined by two experts in labor negotiations. First, please welcome Bernadette Snoot, chief economist at the Grazers Institute and best-selling author of the book titled, If the 47% Lazy Losers Would Just Shrivel Up and Die, The World Would Be a Better Place. Thank you for having me on your program. Also, please welcome Jim Sincere, president of the West Coast Federation of Unions. Thanks for having me. And thank you, Linda, for exposing the anti-labor and anti-Canadian agenda of Eddie and his type. That's Edward Ladder Climber. You certainly are a ladder climber. So willing to destroy Canadian jobs, Canadian lives, and a great Canadian public post office. Destroy? It seems to me that with this very generous tentative agreement the management of Canada Post are simply trying to move forward by rolling back. We, uh, they, have to reduce labour costs to be able to spend money on new sortation equipment and new trucks. You mean the billion dollar sortation machines that handle the very segment of their business that they say has no future? You mean the thousands of trucks they purchased from Turkey? How the hell does that help postal workers or the rest of Canada for that matter? Please, we are here to talk about the tentative agreement. The very generous tentative agreement. Generous? This rag you call an agreement is about as far from generous as you can get. What it is, is a rollback riddled, two-tiered attempt at union busting. That's what it is. Two-tiered? It is not two-tiered. New hires will be able to attain wage parity. New hires will be able to get your precious defined benefit pension. Yeah. What she said. Yes, new hires will be able to achieve wage parity, but only seven years after they're made regular, if they are ever made regular. And the pension. New hires and all those not enrolled prior to signing will have to work until age 60. That is two-tiering. That is divide and conquer strategy as profound as that which ruined Safeway jobs forever. Now, now. It's not that bad. We are generously taking away less than we were going to. Yes, what he said. What he said? Postal workers are supposed to be happy because they are having slightly less rolled back than what the ladder climbers of this world want. Yes, they should be happy. They should be happy they are only facing Bill C-6. They should be happy that the Harper government did not decide to go all aircraft controller on them. This is Canada, not Rotten Ronnie's vision of America. Although we do seem to be trending that way. But let's get back to the rag, er, agreement. And how can you even call it an agreement when the Cup W negotiators had the C-6 gun held to their heads? But let's talk about it. Let's talk about how an injured worker will only get 75% of their wages. Let's talk about how Canada Post hired hands, Great West Life, can overrule the diagnosis of the worker's doctor. That is the most outrageous thing I have ever heard. This all sounds great. What is your problem? My problem? I have a huge problem with this labor-busting tentative agreement. In fact, I am officially announcing that the West Coast Federation of Unions strongly recommends rejection. And there you have it. Thank you for joining us and tune in next week to the interview. So, how do you think we did? Well, I have to say that the Grazers Institute was not much help. What? I did all I could do with what you guys provided me with. We expected some Grazers Institute studies or something. I told you guys how it works. You have to provide us with conclusions. Then, and only then, we author the studies that come to them. Okay, we dropped the ball. Who was supposed to give them some conclusions to work with? Um, that would be me. I, um, I was busy. Busy. Whatever. We have to prepare for the rejection of the tentative agreement. We will need a massive media campaign. We will need lots of Grazers Institute studies to throw around, and for that we will need conclusions. Help me out here, people. 
a nice study that concludes that the defined benefit pension plan is unsustainable would be nice. Yes, that is good. Anything else? How about a study concluding that our lost man hours due to illness and injury is the highest in Canada? I would love to see a study that concludes that the new modern post-2 carry system actually reduces injury. Look, we write studies, we are not miracle workers. Anything else? Falling mail volumes. Of course. How could we have forgotten that? Bobby, you contact Lisa. Get her to dig up another arbitrator and tell her to make sure he does not have the conservative symbol tattooed on his butt this time. This is war. Let's roll.